Happy. Uh, it's me again. And then uh, you're probably getting bored with me, but uh, we're going to make it fun. We're going to make it exciting. And uh, remember, the purpose of these things is to actually help you. So that's what we are doing is that we were helping you to become a better uh, computer programmers. How about that? <laughs> Anyway, so what we're going to do in this lecture, what we're going to do is that I think uh, after teaching a couple of lectures, we found out that the students probably need a little bit more practice. So uh, the purpose of this is to give you a little bit more practice on some of the commands that you've learned. This is one. The other thing is that we're going to do is that we're going to show you how we use the knowledge that we've learned before in applying it in solving different problems. Remember that thing about pattern recognition. So we're going to try to do that. What you see in front of you, we have actually an exercise that we did with the students. And this is a house or a building, if you think. And next to it, we have a car. Now, the shapes are uh, not uh, the best that we can do, but this is just to get you started. All right. So what do we have in here? Now, the, we're going to show you how to draw this, how to show these, to draw these doors, how to get started with the car, uh, and add a little bit on the things that we've learned before. Now, if I open this, the one that we've done before, and you can all relate to it. Remember, this is this looks like the first problem that we did, which is a square. Now, if you look at pattern recognition and decomposition, that looks like actually a square, but it has a little bit extra edges on the top. And then we have another square with different colors. So maybe I can learn the things that I've done before in solving this problem. Same thing that goes with the car. So that's what we are planning and doing, okay? To draw the building, what you can do is say, okay, that looks almost the same, but these sides are longer. So how do I make these sides longer? This is my first step to draw this side, and this is the to draw these side sides here. So that's what we're going to do, increase this. How uh, do you increase it? You just simply go in here and say uh, 200, okay? And then this is the second side, 200. And then now you draw it, and this is what you have. Okay, that's great. How about filling this, uh, uh, this uh, the face of the building? How about that? Okay, what you can do, we will learn a few things here. The first, the first thing we're going to learn, how do we start filling or choosing the color that we want to color this building with? Okay, how do you do that? You say you use a command such as called like t dot fill color, and then you choose the color. It was a red, so you can. I'm gonna make it red. It's uh, I don't know why I keep choosing red. My favorite color is blue actually, but I keep selecting red. So we got red, and that's just to say what brush you're gonna to use. Now the next thing to do is that actually, when do you wanna start filling this rectangle? So, or this building. You do it first, you issue a command, say, I'm gonna start filling now by issuing a command called begin fill. Okay, and these, this command does not accept any parameters. So it's just saying, okay, I'm signaling, I want to start filling from this point onward. So you draw your shape, and at the end you say, okay, wait a minute, I'm done drawing this side, I wanna finish the coloring. So how do you do it? You just simply issue another command, call in and then the score fill and that will finish your building and uh, uh, color the inside of it. So now watch what happens. You draw it, we got an error. That's a good good way to find your errors. Say, okay, it says object has not attribute begin fill. So I got, uh, a, a, uh, I got a problem, okay? What is the problem? The command actually begin underscore fill. So it's a good exercise to find problems. Okay, what line? Line six. Okay, we go back to line six. Okay, begin fill. It's actually begin underscore fill. And now uh, we got that. Okay, so now I drew the building. Now, to draw the building, inside of it, we had actually a door. So now I need to think a little bit. And that is uh, required a little bit of thinking here. Now, my algorithm to draw the building was fine. I'm gonna leave you to do this later on. We'll leave it as an exercise, but I wanna draw the this shape. How do I draw this door inside? How do you do it? We need to do a little bit of calculation, okay? I give you that the side of this, the width of this door is actually 30 points, 30 pixels. These are, this side is 70, and this side is 70. 
Okay, and this is 30 again. Well, you need to do a little bit of math. So if this is 30, then the remaining from this is actually 70, right? So that means I need to divide that 70 by 2. 35 will go in here and 35 will go in here. So how do I tell the computer to move from this point to this point? Okay, let me show you this. Now I am sitting here. I'm sitting back where I started. Remember where you start? You, as you, usually, unless you tell it otherwise, you start at the point of the center of your screen, which in this case, it's zero, zero. So my point here is zero, zero. If I wanna move to this side, how do I tell it to do that? You do, okay, I am still on the same horizontal line and usually horizontal lines reflect X axis. So I'm moving on the X axis. This way means positive. This way means negative. I'm gonna do the positive first. Later on when we drew the car, we'll show you the negative. So if I'm going this way, I need to move by 35. We agreed on that. What about the Y? The Y actually is not changed because I'm still on the same line. That means the Y is zero. So what do we do in here? We go in here, we say, fine. I need to say first, pin up and go to a particular point. I'm gonna show you one thing first. I'm gonna make a, this thing say, uh, we're gonna say go to, uh, let's say 100 and 200, just to show you an example. We'll come back and fix it. I'm gonna slow the computer a little bit just to see what actually is happening. Command copy, command V, and then let's make that uh, two, speed is two. Now if I run it, watch what will happen. It drew this. Notice it actually moved that line to here, but it did not draw anything. Why did not it draw anything? It didn't draw anything because we said pin up. Now, if I uh, did not do pin up first, and I did actually go to, watch will happen. It's, it will have the same effect as forward, but you have actually better control. So what you can do in here, for example, watch. Do you see this? Now it actually went go to, but because I did not lift my hand off the board, that go to still make a mark on the wall or on the board. So what do I need to do? That always I say, before I move to a point, I say pin up. When I'm ready to start, what do you do? You say dot pin down. That's another command and that will move it to a particular point, but without the drawing. But if I draw again, now it start drawing. Okay, so that's the effect of go to and pin up and pin down, and then you go into a particular coordinate. We wanna draw a, a door for this house. How do I do it? Now we agreed that I'm gonna move on the same line by 35 points. This is my same line by 35 points. How do I do that? You just simply, instead of go to here, we can say, we're gonna agree, we agreed that this is 35 and this is zero. So now, watch what happened. Okay, I'm ready. Now I need to do what? I need to draw another box. Do we know how to draw another box? Yeah, we know. Okay, in the future, what we will teach you how is that instead of this repeating code over and over again, every time we wanna draw a, a box shape, we'll, call, we'll create something called a function that Dr. Hammett talked about before. And that will tell you, uh, show you the power of functions. Okay, so now watch what happens. I'm gonna, do this again, copy this, command copy, and then go in here and do command V. Now the, co the color was yellow of the door, so we're gonna make it yellow, we can make it pink, whatever you want. Now the dimensions are different, okay? Now I'm moving this way first by 30 points, so this is gonna be 30. This is going to be 95, this is going to be 70, this is going to be 90 degree turning, right? I don't need to think because we've done this before. All I'm doing is changing dimensions, okay? So this is going to be again 30, and this is going to be 70 again, and watch what happens. Okay. Now I got my door, the door. Now the second part is how do we draw 
the um, the uh, the car. All right. So let's get, take, have a, a shot at it, as they say. So to draw the car, in the example that I've done done here, it shows you that it draws the car to the left. Now, well, uh, to the left of the building or to the right of the building. We want to actually draw it to the left of the building. So we're going to use this again, pin up, pin down, to move to a, a point somewhere in here. How do we do that? You say tin t dot pin up. All right. And then what do you say? T dot uh, go to. Now, the go to, we wanted to give it different coordinates. The different coordinates here is what? we Because it's on the left-hand side, notice if I'm going to draw it on the same level, it will be to the left of this building. It will be negative number. So I'm just decided to say negative 250, and we're going to stay on the same x axis, y axis, so it'll be zero. Now you just say pin down, t dot pin down, before we start drawing. All right. And now, uh, at least we can test it quickly. Notice, it, now it moved that point. Now to draw the car, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of tricks because I'm not gonna solve it for you. You're gonna try to do it to give you a little bit of experience and a little bit of thinking, all right? So to draw a car, it looks like something similar to what we've done with the, with the, with the, with the, with these, uh, with the box or with the square, but we have these tires that we need to draw, and then we have these angles. So as you're drawing this car, you need to think about the steps, forward, turn right, turn left, turn left again, but when you get to this point, maybe you need to do turn right, and then you need to decide on the angle that you're turning. Same way here, turn left, and then here, turn left, and then again here, turn one, turn right. So you need to think about when you're drawing this car, about the steps that you need to do. Now, I'll show you how to draw the wheels, but the rest you will do as an exercise, okay? So if we go back to that exercise that we're doing, so I got to my point, so I'm gonna say T dot forward to draw the bottom of the car forward, and then I'm gonna say here, uh, okay, it's about 100 long, okay, this car, and if I to draw the circle, what you do is that you say dot t dot circle, and then you need to give it an input. When you draw a circle, you usually have a circle has a, a, an attribute called a, a radius. So we need to give it an input here, and the radius is going to be 10, all right? Now, you will notice when you're drawing this circle, something funny will happen, okay? So when we draw it, it continued to draw where? It continued to draw on the same level, but I don't want it to draw on the same level. I want to actually move the tire down. So instead of drawing the same directions, I want to move this way first to continue to draw the circle. So how do I tell it to move down? We say simply say what? T dot what? Remember? The uh, left. <clears throat> and then we say 90 degree. So this is how you control the where the where the tire is going to be located in reference to you, the cursor, okay? So here, watch. I'm, I'm good. Now to draw the color, to change the color, uh, to fill that circle, you just simply remember we say T dot uh, begin fill. And then at the end, you just say T dot end fill. And we got a tire, but this color is going to be, the tire will be yellow. <laughs> so what do we need to do? We need to change the fill color before we fill that uh, tire. How do we change the color? Simple. You just say, go in here. We've done this. Fine. And the way we do in here is that um, after, before we actually draw, right before we draw the... Uh, the tire before the begin fill, we change the color instead of yellow, we say gray, and then hooray, you're done. Okay, now you can continue the exercise. You have a little bit of uh, more practice, of course. Um, have fun at it, and I'm sure you can do it. You just uh, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. So, what you need to do is that you uh, finish that exercise that was in this example here. The things that we've learned, more practice with the go-to, 
more practice with the uh, sequencing, how to organize your thoughts, more practice about, uh, we've learned new things about begin fill and infill, and we learn how to draw a circle, right? Have fun and then draw your own shapes, sh uh, pictures, and see what you can come up with. I'll see you in the next video.